Now we're going to show you how to export data from the ODK aggregate. Now, earlier in the previous video, we showed you how to start the server and start the ODK aggregate, so you should already be logged in. I'll show you two things. The first is viewing the submissions, which you can do just by clicking on View Submissions. And unfortunately, on this form, we don't have any submissions. So if I go to an earlier one, OK, we see here. Now, when you click on View Submissions, you're only able to view the data. You can't really do anything else with it. So if you want to export the data, you click on Briefcase. Now, when you do click on Briefcase, it takes a minute for that page to load. You see that if, I'm, if I try and scroll down, it, it doesn't respond. So you just give it a minute, and uh, once it's finished, you should be able to scroll down the page. Okay, now it looks like it's loaded. So what you do is you come down to the ODK Briefcase applet. There's a few things you'll need to change on here. Now, all of this is also documented on the exporting data from ODK, so feel free to reference that if that's easier for you. The first thing you want to change is the directory path in which the data is stored. Uh, that There's a shortcut here called Smartphone Data Collection on the right. If you go there and then go into ODK and you go into the Data Export directory, you'll basically just copy this entire address, right click and copy. Now you need to paste it here so I'm going to just delete the data space. Now you'll have to use the shortcut keys which is control and V like Victor to paste. The next thing you want to do is check this box that says download nested repeat groups and then binary data you want to select the first option. The ODK ID, I'm actually I don't remember what it is, so I'm just going to go into this document that says exporting data. And it tells us right here. So I'll copy that. Again, control C to copy, and then paste it in the aggregate form, control V. And you just scroll down a little bit more and click on retrieve. Now if we look up here, you see that it's actually processing your request and once you see outcome equals success you know that it's completed so let's just close some of these things and go back to here it is this was the data collection uh, sorry data export uh, directory now every time you export this information it creates three files one is the binary data one is the CSV data, and one is the manifest file. The manifest you can always delete, so we'll go ahead and delete that. Now the other two, the CSV data holds all of the Excel spreadsheets. Now what you can do is just rename that folder, and usually I, I like to use the date, so we'll use 12, 18, 11, dash, data. And binary data are all the photos. So we can rename that to 12, 18, 11, dash, pics. So now, here are your uh, spreadsheets under the data folder. You'll notice there are two spreadsheets. That's because one of them is on the individual level and one is on the household level. And you can notice that the size of one is a bit bigger than the other. So there's your spreadsheet. And if we go back up, you'll see all of your photos here. There's all your photos. Now, that's, that's it for exporting in the CSV format. We will create another video for you on how you can export to Access.